Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Xero with Google Sheets. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Xero.com or log in to our existing account. Uh, if you are familiar with Xero, you will soon find out that you won't be able to make the integration straight, uh, straight away with Xero and Google Sheets, so we will need help of third-party application. Let's go and let's use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are here, let's click on integration in the top corner of our screen and hover over uh, see all categories and, cl and click on see all categories option. Now we are ready to pick the application uh, applications we need to uh, we need to integrate. So let's start with Xero. And uh, now we have to pick the opposite uh, opposite uh, application. So let's write down Google Sheets, or at least Sheets. Straight away, uh, we are greeted, greeted uh, by some popular integrations between those two. So uh, if you won't be able to find the integration that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, we want to use Xero first. There's a couple of options, but I'm going to click on the first one just to show you how it's done. On the other hand, on the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go and you want to press uh, Google Sheets option. So, for example, add RAW. All we have to do now, we have to click on Try It Now button, and uh, you'll get asked, to log in or register to automate.eo and you'll be a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use zapier.com, um, so we also need to create an account here. Once we do that, let's go to the top left corner of our screen and click on this black, uh, black button, create zap. Once we do that, we can name our zap uh, by going like 02 sheets for example but it's not mandatory first we have to set up a trigger so same as at automate let's start with xero we have to pick the trigger event manually so let's stick with the first one continue now we have to log in to the xero account continue now we have to pick the organization so as you can see, I'm currently logged in uh, the mstone one, but you can easily make more organizations. So mstone, let's give it the first option. And now we can uh, test our trigger between Xero and Zapier itself. Now the action, let's write down Google Sheets, as you probably thought. Action event, stick to the first option. And, that, and the last thing is we have to sign in to Google Sheets. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.